Hey guys and welcome to another Diets and Doodles video. Today's video is going to be just a drawing video, it's not going to be diet related and the reason is because a few of you recommended that I do some just plain drawing videos over on Instagram. So we're going to be drawing cartoon characters from memory. Now I was born in the early 90s and then I grew up in the 90s and I was mainly watching cartoons towards the late 90s and early 2000s. So a lot of the characters that I'm going to be trying to draw might be from that time period but I'm not sure because my sister was the one that actually made the program, her and my brother, they made two separate programs of different cartoon characters for me to try to draw and they might have put anyone and apparently according to my sister it's going to be extremely hard so I'm in for a treat. So wish me luck and we'll start on the video. So I just drew the broccoli very fast this time but you'll have to do. I'm just going to bring up the program that my sister and brother made. First of all I guess we'll try my sister's one. So I've opened it up and if we can see here it's just going to give me any character if I just press any key. I'm so scared <laughs> because I have the worst memory so hopefully hopefully I get someone that I actually know. So Let's go. Okay, so it says Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and it's the Prince. Oh, what's his name? His name is Prince Florian, right? But they didn't actually say his name in the actual show, I think. Um, so <laughs> let's see if I remember how he looks like and what color his clothes are and that kind of thing, but let's try it out. I actually don't really remember how his face shape was. Kind of remember, but I feel like he was more of a, a rounder face shape and his hair possibly was very similar to, I guess, the fashionable hair in the time of the release of the movie. I think I think it was released maybe the 30s or 40s um so you know generally disney styles or dress codes even like hairstyles that were more close in resemblance to the time period that they were made rather than historically accurate to the time that the actual story was set in so yeah i'm not sure how i'm going to be able to achieve an accurate depiction of the prince because it's been so long since i've watched snow white what do you think is it's not like one of your favorite movies or do you feel like the older movies are a little bit more boring for me, Snow White isn't one of the top, but I understand that it was quite revolutionary because it was probably one of the first animated movies to be in theaters. And it was, you know, showing people that animation could be something that was quite enjoyable for large audiences and um, you can market animation quite well. I'm not sure what pose I'm going to do. This guy, probably not going to look very much like the prince. I'm going to try my best to make sure he looks somewhat like him. This prince in Snow White, I guess he wasn't as memorable for me. Um, his design was maybe, you know, a little bit um, plain compared to the other princes. I don't know what pose I'm putting him in, but he looks like he's ready to jump or something like that. Maybe I'll give him a sword. Should I give him a sword? Yeah, I'll give him a sword. I don't know if he even has a sword in the movie, but they do, right? Like most of the princes back then had swords, right? You know who his clothes actually are starting to look like Shane's clothes, I think, from <laughs> from Mulan. Let's start drawing some facial features. We'd have to draw his full body, right? Unless you guys want me want to see how the prince's legs look like. I'm not sure if they had the full eyes at that point or if they were just like something like this. This guy, he looks like I guess the anime version of maybe the prince. Um, I grew up drawing a lot of anime characters. I used to watch a lot of anime when I was a kid. And I guess that influenced my my art style quite a bit. I'm going to try my best not to draw everyone in anime style, but I actually am clueless for what this prince looks like. So you're going to have to forgive me for the first one and maybe every other one. <laughs> okay, so let's start coloring. I do remember that the prince had a red cape and I think his blouse or, the, you know, the, I don't know what they call it, the tunic he's wearing was kind of blue and maybe I'll fast forward through all of this and we'll see the final product when it's done. Okay guys, so this is just a rough, I guess, drawing. Uh, I hope it looks at least a little bit similar. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Google on this screen and I'm going to type in and look up the prince from Snow White and see what he looks like with you guys <laughs> and then we can compare him side to side okay oh all right all right <laughs> I, I missed out 
quite a few things. I think, um, I guess maybe the the color, maybe the color is a, a little bit. His sword is, his sword is very tiny. Do you think? Look how tiny that is. <laughs> um, my guy's sword is quite bigger. Um, but let's see them side to side by side. Obviously, I got quite a few things wrong. He's he has a fringe. I thought his hair was more like I guess brushed up but yeah he does have a fringe he has like i guess a orange around his tunic and more of a white shirt and he does have lips i forgot that you know he has like he has like very obvious lips see that's so interesting and his eyes are blue okay maybe we can get some something a little bit easier to do for the next one okay guys let's choose another character so maybe i'll try my brother's character selector this time Okay, so sorry, it popped up on the other screen. So I got Sam from Totally Spies. <laughs> God, this show is so old. It was back when I was a kid and I don't remember. I think Sam was the blonde one, the blonde one who wore orange. So I might be completely wrong. I'm going to draw how I think she looks like from my memory. In Totally Spies, they have more of like an anime style drawing. Um, so that might work to my advantage. I know they all wear this like, I guess what they assume is spy costume try my best to remember how that looks like but yeah it's like a full i guess like a catwoman kind of suit and i don't remember what she holds i think one of them holds kind of like a blush a blush thing and that's the only one i remember so i'm gonna make sam hold it i'm sorry for any totally spies fans out there but yep that's that's what I'm making Sam hold, I guess. Just a blush thingo. Well, the little mirror compact. It's not a blush thingo. It's a compact. Like it was a spy. It was a spy gadget, but I'm not sure what they what they used it for. I think it, maybe it would have been to contact base or something like that. You guys can correct me. I just feel like they had belts and they had something. Uh, I had they had like maybe a gadget pocket stuck to the bill or maybe I'm just thinking of Batman. For us, I guess in Australia, Totally Spies was on Cartoon Network. Not Cartoon Network, sorry. It was on um, Cheese TV, which became Toasted TV. I don't know if you're old enough to remember that. I'm not sure if it still exists, um, but that was our Channel 10 program. Yeah, they used to have this in the morning. I'm not sure if it was actually on Cartoon Network or not. So if anyone actually remembers, just you know, tell me in the comments, I guess. All right, so I don't remember her fringe. I feel like it might have been, I'm very bad with fringes. I feel like it might have been kind of like a, a straight fringe, but I'm not sure. Do you think she had a kind of like this thing or maybe not? I don't think so. If I find out she did, I'm just going to be upset, really upset. I have a weird habit of, I guess, drawing fists for my characters for some reason. So these girls had unusually thin and long legs. I still remember that. Let me try to zoom out. Oops. And I don't have enough space for the heels. But I, I remember they wore like heel boots or something like that, right? If you guys want to see more refined drawings, then just tell me. Maybe I can do like some character design videos or something like that. And we can see how those go. I'm not sure if they showed their hands. Did they have gloves on? I think they might have had gloves on. Maybe maybe gloves up to here or something. Guys, I'm starting to think Sam is the one with the, the long orange hair, guys. <laughs> I'm actually going to fail at this. I thought she might have had like, what do they call them? The cowlicks? Maybe a lot of cartoon characters have cowlicks, so maybe she has one as well. Let's draw the face now. I forgotten how their eyes actually look like, but I remember that they were quite anime style. Now, normally when I draw, I normally draw on, I guess, non-digital media. Um, so I'm not the best at drawing and coloring in on digital media. Give me suggestions on what you think would help um, because really I need all the suggestions since I'm doing a lot of my videos over, I guess the non-traditional media or the digital media. I feel like I might need a bit more help because I'm not as used to it as um, pen and paper. But if you do want to see more videos of me drawing using just traditional media, then um, leave a comment or comment on my Instagram and tell me if you like that kind of media or not. Okay everyone, I'll probably start coloring now and I'll be back with the finished product. Okay guys, let's see what Sam actually looks like. So Sam.
Boom. Dang! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it is... Ah, oh, it's the girl. <laughs> it's the one with the long hair. I'm so wrong. Like, this is... This is so bad. So, I was also wrong about the colours. I was drawing this girl in the middle. What's her name? Clover? Yes, Clover. I was drawing Clover. So let's pretend uh, we were doing Clover. And I also, I guess, got Clover quite wrong as well because I did her in orange, not in red. And her eyes are blue, which is very wrong. I guess I got the pink lipstick right. Um, and they do have a belt. So yeah, I got it so wrong. I'm so sorry, guys. They do have, I guess, more of those... They do have like more of an open eye and it's more anime style, more um, cat eye kind of thing. So yeah, I did so badly. After those two fails, let's see if the third time is a charm. So let's open up this character selector once again and see who we get this time. Okay. <laughs> so I got Android 17 from Dragon Ball Z, which is quite lucky for me because I was a big fan of Dragon Ball Z back in the day. So let's try this out. I don't know if uh, any of you guys watch Dragon Ball Z, but it was one of the main things that influenced my drawing, especially back in the day. Well, Android 17 was one of the androids that Cell had to absorb and he was one of the androids that Dr. Juro made to help to kill Goku. With Android 17, he was the one that looks very similar to Android 18 who becomes quite a big character later on. I remember he wore like a t-shirt with a t-shirt with a shirt underneath, I think. It was like a black t-shirt or was it a black singlet -ish shirt? From what I remember, it was probably like a t-shirt and he had a little bandana around his neck. Dragon Ball Z was one of the biggest influences on my drawing and you can probably see that by how big I draw ears generally in my drawings. Now I remember Android 17 having I guess like mum jeans so like really loose jeans I guess. I don't know if his shirt was tucked in though. Now with Dragon Ball Z they can't they the characters tend to have quite muscly arms but I I actually don't remember him being as muscly as the other characters um in the show. I don't really remember much of his like skill sets I guess because they kind of he didn't really last that long spoiler alert but I, I actually don't remember what he used to do to be honest it was quite a long ago and I feel really bad about that because it's my like it's literally my favorite anime hey guys <laughs> You know what? He can just be putting both his hands on his hips because I literally don't know what to do with his hands right now. You know, generally when you're drawing, you kind of map out, uh, you know, different kind of poses that you want your characters in and stuff. When you're rushing drawings, you can't really think of different poses to do. So I'm just going to put his hands on his hips like he's upset with you, like he's your upset mum. I feel like this uh, style with the like the short sleeves and underneath it, like another shirt was like very popular back in the day. I remember like nearly everyone doing it, <laughs> all, the, all the boys, I guess, style changes quite a bit over time. I wonder if it's coming back though because a lot of styles have come back and I think like especially like styles from the, I think the 80s nowadays are very coming back so maybe one day we're gonna get like the 90s 2000s styles all over again. So um a lot of them had that like that little red ribbon symbol on them but I don't know if he actually had that on this shirt because I remember in the actual show he went and bought new clothes because like I think when he was like fighting Vegeta or something he kind of got really wrecked. <laughs> His clothes got you know all over the place and that kind of thing so I'm not sure if he actually got new clothes. So in Dragon Ball Z there were people that had like these eyes which are like you know Goku and Krillin and like Gohan and stuff and then there were like the angry Vegeta eyes kind of things so I forgot what he had I feel like he had small eyes though because because Android 18 had small eyes right and they're like this I'm not sure and like in Dragon Ball Z their noses were kind of like little triangles <laughs> so hopefully this turns out right I think a lot of um I guess girls who watch the show probably thought that Android 17 was a little bit of a heartthrob uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Any girls that have watched Dragon Ball Z and feel that he was the heartthrob of the show? I know a lot of people like Trunks as their heartthrob, but I could see Android 17 being a viable heartthrob. <laughs> so I decided to kind of go with more of a pink background just so that I don't get too many sketchy lines in the final line art. So I'm just doing some line art now and um, we'll get back to the final product. <laughs>
Okay guys, so this is my final drawing of Android 17 within this time period. Um, so let's have a look at what he actually looked like. All right guys, so oh, I'm so scared. There's so much pressure because Android 17 is from Dragon Ball Z and that's like one of my favorite TV shows. So if I don't get this right, I'm going to be quite upset. Okay. okay. <laughs> Man, he is actually like tiny. Like I thought he would be built because it's like Dragon Ball Z, of course. <laughs> That's him. He actually has quite big sleeves and um, he has a belt. So it was actually tucked in. I was actually wrong. We see. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. He has a humongous forehead. Does anyone like I should have remembered that actually. He has a huge forehead. There we have them both right next to each other. Like he has a full holster as well, which is interesting. But but I got the colors right, guys. I actually got the colors right this time. So I give myself points. <laughs> So these are my three cartoon characters that I try to draw from memory. If you like this challenge, please comment below and subscribe if you want to see any more drawing challenges. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.